Jesus is the offspring of Abraham. And the reason that is great is that it means that he is the one who will inherit every one of God's blessings. Because humanity as a whole couldn't presume on God's blessing. We had turned our backs on him. We hadn't shown him the love and loyalty that he deserved. And therefore there was no way we could presume on his kindness towards us. But God did single out one man who he promised lavish blessing to, Abraham. And yet Abraham died without seeing any of God's promised blessings coming about in his life. And so the hunt was on. Which one of Abraham's offspring would inherit these promises? How many generations would this inheritance be passed down before one of Abraham's offspring would see God's promises come to fruition, come to fulfillment in his life? And finally, after generations of waiting, that title, Offspring of Abraham, settles on Jesus. And it's so exciting because of the magnitude of these promises of blessing that God made. Jesus inherited the promise that God would be his God, that God would long to bless him. In particular, that God would make his name great. The Father longs for the day when everybody will recognise his Son as Lord. His whole plans are designed that we all might recognise how great is Jesus. And um, he is determined that Jesus' name is recognised as great. He promised and he will bring about that Jesus has a good land, a home. He will totally restore the, this world um, and the mess that we've made of it to a perfect and good world. And he will give it to his son. And the father has promised him um, a people, a people who are great, a people which is huge, and a people which is good. And that's us, that's the church. And um, yes, maybe not um, as great and as good as, um, as we would wish for now. And yet the father will add to our number, the father will protect us and the Father will perfect us. He, um, he will make us a um, great people and a good people and give us to Jesus. The Father will bring about blessing um, for Jesus. But as well as Jesus being the inheritor of God's promises of blessing, the incredible thing is that as his people, we have been knit to him. We've been made one with Jesus. We are the body and he is our heads. And as that, we inherit that title with him. We become the offspring of Abraham, even though I expect for most of us, we have no Jewish heritage at all. We cannot claim genetic descendant from Abraham. And yet in Jesus, we inherit those promises given to Abraham. And therefore that future um, of blessing and hope that the Father is working for his Son, um, we can look forward to as our own future. Um, let's praise God for all that he is doing for Jesus and for us. Heavenly Father, um, we just thank you so much um, that you are a promise keeping God. Um, thank you that your words can be completely trusted and even though um, centuries passed from you making those promises to Abraham um, there was never a moment of doubt whether or not you would keep them and Father um, it's so exciting to see um, your plans coming to fruition um, as you uh, have explained more and more what these blessings will look like for Jesus and we're so excited um, for Jesus to receive um, the blessing and the honour that he deserves. Um, 
And Father, we're so overwhelmed that um, we would be included in that, um, that as undeserving people, um, we would get to enjoy um, some of that blessing alongside him. And um, thank you so much for your trustworthiness and thank you for your generosity. Amen.